What's up and welcome to this week's video. We're going to be going into a few weeks now of just getting stronger, giving out five tips every single video on how to get stronger, how to really start putting on some muscle and start reaching your goals. If you've been following us, we just got done a five week series of weight loss, you know, so it's time to switch things up, start hitting the heavier weights and really get going with that. <clears throat> if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to this channel. We're putting out videos a lot more than we used to and just really getting into things a lot harder. Um, as we get you know into the summer months now, hopefully you already lost the weight you wanted to lose. If you haven't, just go back and check out the old videos. So here we go, the first five tips on how to get stronger this season. Number five, consistency. By far the most important one. You gotta be consistent. If you're just not going at it three to five days a week, you're not gonna reach your goals. Strength gains is not easy. Personally, I actually think losing weight is much easier Whereas getting the strength, getting the size, the bulk, the mass, it's just you got to work a lot harder for it. You're going to have to, you know, deal with a lot more pain. I feel it's more fun. Not everybody agrees, but I mean, it's I get more out of just lifting heavy weights than I do going lighter weight, higher reps. So, you know, if you enjoy that, just really go at it. You got to be consistent. Find a program that works for you. If you're unsure of like what you want to do, feel free to reach out to us. We have free programs. We have, you know, more personalized, affordable programs, and we're always putting out content. But you have to be consistent. Number four: increase the weight. This should be a given, but most people don't realize this. So many of our clients come in every week, and they're just going to tell us like, "Okay, it's time to bench. I do this weight." It's like, no, you got to push yourself harder. Don't do the same weight every single week. If 135 is your bench, it's time to try 150. You know, maybe you don't get all the reps in there, but you're at least pushing yourself, getting out of your comfort zone, and like really finding out what you can do. If you're trying to put on mass as a guy, you should be shooting for that like 200 plus pound bench. You know, more depending on what you know what your level is right now. But don't get comfortable with the lighter weights. It's you know, it's just where I find it more fun. You get to push yourself. You get to go heavier. You don't have to worry about the actual reps as much. If the program calls for 10 reps this week and you only get eight, maybe your spotter, you know, helps you get those final 10. That's perfect. You know, some weeks it might be five reps. Some weeks it could be three. A lot of the, uh, our program, we even get into weeks where it might be 10 sets of one. And, you know, our athletes get a lot of great results out of that. But you have to increase the weights overdo it you know as safely as possible but you have to overdo it number three barbells get focused on them just bring a lot more barbell routines into your workouts if you're already doing a lot of barbells that's great maybe it's time to look into some you know assisted lifts dumbbells machines whatever but for the average person you know you've probably done a lot of cardio a lot of abs machines and dumbbells maybe kettlebells it's time to bring in the barbells get very comfortable with compound lifts, start learning the form. Again, like everything else, you can always reach out to us. You can send us videos. You can, if you're on any social media that we're on, tag us, you know. One of us will get back to you and go through just problems, techniques, whatever you need to do, we can help you. But you got to get more into barbells. It's going to be one of the fastest ways to put on some strength and size. All right, moving on to number two. Find your weak points and attack them like crazy. As a taller person, you know, like with bench with me, the full lockout was hard because I got longer arms. So I got very big into weak point training. I did a lot of band of push ups, band of bench, uh, just lockout movements. I knew my bench sucked because I had longer arms. So weak point, I attacked it. Whatever your weak point is, overdo it. You're not going to get injured by just adding a couple more sets in or some techniques. But you've got to just master your weak points or you're never going to succeed. If you're trying to get bigger, can't get bigger if you can't fully isolate the muscles, hit the compound movements correctly. So find those weak points, just destroy them, make your weak points your strong points. It's really that easy, it's going to be a little painful, but within a month you're going to see some massive changes. And then number one, it's probably going to be the hardest one for most people, I know it is with me, find the exercises you hate and never skip them. If like if you're like me and you hate lunges, make sure you're doing lunges at least twice a week, sometimes three times a week. I will do anything to avoid lunges, so I make myself do them every single leg day. Sometimes, you know, 
If I did legs on Monday and I'm not going to get to legs again that week, I might throw them in on a back day or a chest day just to make sure I'm getting them in. I hate lunges, so I overdo them. If you, know, if you hate deadlifts, if you hate power cleans, it's time to start doing them. Find the things you hate. Make them a major part of your program. Most likely the reason why you hate them is because you suck at them. So stop sucking at them. Get better at them. You know, it's, you've been neglecting them. For me, with lunges, I wasn't getting the strength out of my quads that I wanted to. You know, my legs weren't as strong as I wanted them to be. I knew it was because of lunges, but I skipped them anyway. And then I made myself go for them. We get a lot of athletes that their bench isn't developing because they don't want to get into the deltoid training or they don't want to get into the tricep training. You know, with the arms, a lot of people only want to focus on the biceps. We have a lot of athletes that want a big bench. Biceps aren't going to help you there. you got to go after the triceps. Find the things you hate. Overdo them. Destroy them. Maybe start to love them. Maybe you hate them more. It doesn't matter. You will get results. And there you go. There's five tips. See you next week.